Imagine driving down a pitch black country road in Malaysia. It's raining, your headlights barely cut through the mist, and suddenly, bam, the road lights up beneath you in a soft glowing green. That's not science fiction. In late 2023, Malaysia tested glow in the dark road markings. And, for a moment, it seemed like driving in the future had finally arrived. Here's what happened. Malaysia's Public Works Department picked a rural road near Semenyi and painted 245 meters of lines with special photoluminescent paint. This stuff absorbs sunlight all day, then glows for up to 10 hours after sunset. So, even when the power's out, or you're far from city lights, those road markings shine on, guiding you safely through darkness, rain, or fog. The reaction? At first, drivers loved it. People said the glowing lines made night driving less stressful, especially in heavy rain when normal road markings vanish. Even government ministers praised how visible these glowing lines were, no matter the weather. But then reality hit. The cost to paint just one square meter with this glow-in-the-dark magic are 749 Compare that to arm $40 for regular road lines. That's nearly 20 times more expensive. Suddenly, glowing roads didn't seem like such a bright idea, especially when Malaysia has over 6,000 road deaths a year and so many other basic fixes still needed. Still, the government planned to expand the project. They lined up 15 spots in Selangor and 31 pilot roads in Johor. But after a few months, those plans were scrapped. Why? It wasn't just the price. Experts from the Malaysian Institute of Road Safety Research found that Malaysia's hot, wet climate made the special paint wear off way faster than expected. Studies suggested the lines might need repainting every 18 months, another big bill. As the buzz faded, people started asking some tough questions. Why spend all this money on glowing paint when potholes, faded lines, and broken signs are everywhere? People wanted safer roads, yes, but maybe not flashy experiments. If you're wondering, Malaysia isn't alone. The Netherlands and Japan have tried their own glow-in-the-dark roads, mostly as art projects or limited tests. Nobody's really cracked the code for making this both affordable and long-lasting yet. So, why didn't Malaysia's glowing roads shine bright enough? Turns out, sometimes the simplest solutions, like fixing potholes and repainting regular lines, work best. The glowing paint dazzled for a while, but in the end, it just couldn't outshine the basics. If you liked this look into road safety experiments, hit subscribe for more stories about how the world is built and rebuilt, one bright idea at a time.